Atlanta. At this time, we'd like to call your attention to the west end zone and the flight pole. This evening, the ROTC, under the direction of Jacob Ford, will raise the American flag during the playing of our national anthem. Connects in charge of this duty are Dakota Stahl, Andrew Simcox, and Cody Luke. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Scarborough Stadium in Powell, Tennessee, where uh, it is the first round of the Class 5A State Playoffs, State of Tennessee Playoffs, where your Central High School Bobcats will be taking on the Powell Panthers here at Scarborough Stadium, Hayworth Field in Powell, Tennessee. I apologize, say to uh, start the broadcast, I apologize for the uh, inconvenience tonight. Due to some technical difficulties, we will be unable to video this game. We will be operating here through uh, Bobcat Broadcasting on a uh, strictly sound and radio broadcast. We will not be able, due to circumstances beyond our control, we will be unable to video this broadcast. I hope that you will still uh, enjoy the evening with us. It's a beautiful night, not a cloud in the sky. The sun is just now setting here in Powell. And it's about 59 degrees uh, for, to, to start the game. It's a wonderful fall evening uh, for football. And the eight-seeded Central High School Bobcats are taking on the number one-seeded Powell Panthers here at Scarborough Stadium again here in Powell, Tennessee. To start this evening, we're going to start with your starting lineups for the Powell offense first, for the hosting Powell offense. At left tackle, number 70, Robert Hamilton. At left guard, number 76, Colin Sharp. At center, number 50, Harrison Jones. At right guard, number 73, Jacob Anderson. At right tackle, number 68, Anthony Rivera. At quarterback, number 11, Hagen Owenby. At running back, number 10, Monterio Washington. At wide receiver, number 25, Clay Leeper. At wide receiver tight end, 81, Darrell Middleton. At wide receiver, number three, Marcus Weaver. And at wide receiver, number 83, Andrew Cox. For the Powell High School defense, starters first at defensive end, number 44, Sharon Moore. At nose tackle, number 99, Brady Scalf. At defensive end, number 23, Dalton Long. At linebacker, number 48, Josh Singleton. At linebacker, number 43, Brody Husky. At linebacker, number 49, Devin Scott. And at linebacker, number 27, Jacob Bizark. At cornerback, number 10, Monterio Washington. At safety, number 20, Cody Jett. And at free safety, number 7, Dylan Sweat. And at cornerback, number 32, 
John Strox. The Powell specialist tonight is kicking. Uh, kicking for Powell will be number 37, Austin Rogers. The punter, number 11, Hagen Owenby. Long snapper is number 20, Cody Jett. Holding for place kicking will be number 11, Hagen Owenby. And kickoff returns, punt returns is number 32, John Strzok. Now for your Central High School Bobcat starting lineup. For your Bobcat Central offense, at left tackle, number 64, Charlie Pratt. At left guard, number 67, Brandon Turner. At center, number 72, Ethan Dane. At right guard, number 66, Jonathan Holcomb. At right tackle, number 78, Sean Oliver. At tight end, number 28, Dominic Wilson. At quarterback, number 19, Xavier Johnson. Number 10, running back, Jeremiah Howard. At wide receiver, number seven, Rex Howard. At wide receiver, number 15, Ben Buell. And at wide receiver, number 21, Marquise Campbell. For your Bobcat defense, starting this evening at defensive end, number 53, Aaron Lopez. At defensive tackle, number 60, Dylan Skiles. At defensive end, number 64, Charlie Pratt. At outside linebacker, number 11, C.J. Holloway. At linebacker, number 15, Ben Buell. At linebacker, number 5, Nate Caldwell. And at the other linebacker spot, number 37, Josh Campbell. Cornerback, number 24, Gavin Adams. Safety, number 12, Cedric Washington. At safety, number 7, Rex Howard. And at cornerback, number 4, Daquavius Banks. The specialist for your Bobcats this evening, kicking and punting, handling all the kickoff duties, is number 48, Corey Plant. The long snapper for the Bobcats is number 68, Peyton Reed. And holding this evening for the point after attempts will be number 19, Xavier Johnson. The captains tonight are meeting at center field for the coin toss. And the referees this evening are uh, from the Cookville area. And the referee, Rob Goodman, is now flipping the coin. Let's see what they, they discuss. Again, two weeks ago, uh, this game was played on senior night here at Powell. Central came in on a uh, five-game winning streak and lost to Powell on senior night 20 to nothing. Now here in the first round of the Class 5A state playoffs, Central has made the trip again to Scarborough Stadium. Powell has won the toss and has deferred to the second half. Central will receive. And it looks like Powell will be defending the west end zone here at Scarborough Stadium. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your Central High School Bobcats at six and four coming into the season, having a great year, have had a, a very have overachieved, had a very good year so far. Have been the Central Bi Central High School Bobcats. Powell Panthers, on the other hand, have had a wonderful season coming off that 14 and one effort last year. At nine and one, they're the number one team in the uh, bracket, the quad one bracket that Central and the Powell Panthers are in. Getting underway in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back for kickoff. You are listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and the Powell Panthers are getting ready to kick off deep for the Bobcats is number 21, Marquise Campbell, and they kick it away from him. The kickoff is received by number three, 
Brandon Wembley, and he's brought down immediately at the 30-yard line. Brandon Wembley on the, the kickoff return got about one yard before he was taken down. It'll be first down and 10 at the Bobcat 30-yard line. Bobcats tonight wearing their white jerseys and red pants. The Powell Panthers wearing their orange jerseys with black pants. Coach Joe Hassel looking to get his first win in the state playoffs tonight. Xavier Johnson in the shotgun formation is your quarterback. Takes the snap. Johnson looking to pass. Pass is caught and complete out to the 37-yard line by number 21, Marquias Campbell. Johnson's pass picks up about seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and three. Brought down by number 32, Jonathan Strozik. On that play was Marquise Campbell and a good pickup on the slant route. Marquise Campbell, seven-yard reception. It'll be second down and three. Bobcats coming to the line. Johnson in the pistol formation. Takes a snap. Handoff, Jeremiah Howard. Jeremiah Howard rushes straight ahead, picks up about five on the play. It'll be good enough for a first down for the Bobcats at the 48, excuse me, the 44-yard line. So about a seven-yard pickup there for Jeremiah Howard. Again, two weeks ago, coming into this game, the Bobcats had a 1,000-yard rusher in Jawan Stinson injured on the first series, offensive series, and now the freshman, Jeremiah Howard, has done a magnificent job so far uh, last week against Halls and to finish the game against Powell two weeks ago. Jeremiah Howard carries off tackle, brought down in the backfield. Number 44, Sharon Moore. Defensive end had a marvelous game Sharon Moore did two weeks ago on senior night. Brought down Jeremiah Howard again. A loss of three on the play. It'll be second down and 13. Johnson, shotgun formation. Takes a snap. Looking to pass. Pass out and overthrows his receiver. Intended for Rex Howard. Johnson's pass sails out of bounds. It's going to be third down and 13 for the Bobcats at the 41-yard line. Jawan Stinson, over a 1,000-yard rusher, again, went down two weeks ago here at Powell in the first offensive series, had to have surgery on his foot, and is gone, is done for the rest of the season. But is returning next season. You've got a wonderful stable of running backs coming back next year if you're the Bobcats and Jeremiah Howard and Juwan Stinson. Xavier Johnson takes a snap, passing out into the flat. Pass is complete to number 11, C.J. Holloway, but Holloway falls down right after the catch, and it was actually a loss of one on the play. So Johnson's pass complete to C.J. Holloway, but he falls down right after the catch, and it was a loss of one. It is now fourth down and 14 on in the punt formation are the Bobcats. Corey Plant on to punt deep for the Panthers. Number 32, Jonathan Strokes. Good punt, high kick, fielded at the 20-yard line. And now Strokes is, is brought down at the 30-and-a-half-yard line, swarmed under by a host of Bobcats. Met first by number five, Nate Howard. Excuse me, Nate Caldwell, and that's where the Powell Panthers will take over. At the 30-and-a-half yard line, the Panthers now taking the field. Quarterback Hagan Owenby in the shotgun formation, running back to his right is Monteria Washington. Handoff Washington, and he gets to the edge, and he slips. He got outside the linebacker there, was Monterio Washington, but he tried as he tried to uh, cut up field, he slipped, and it was a pickup of about three on the play. It's going to be second down and seven from the 33-and-a-half-yard line. Powell Panthers, 9-1 and one on the season, here taking on your Central High School Bobcats in the first round of the Class 5A state playoffs. Owenby takes a snap, handoff, Washington. Washington rushes ahead, 
Picks up maybe one on the play. It's going to be third down and about five for the Panthers. Third down and five from the 36-yard line. Powell getting the call from the Powell coaching staff on the sideline. Owen B. in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Man in motion for the Powell Panthers. Snap. Owen B. rushes ahead and he's get a hole. Hit a hole and now he's broken a tackle. Owen B. stiff arm, breaking back across the field. Finally dragged down by number four, Daquavius Banks, but not after a pickup for the Powell Panthers of about 30 yards. A big play there for the Powell Panthers and quarterback Hagen Owenby. Hagen Owenby and Monterio Washington two weeks ago had a great night running the football. And Owenby has started again. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Powell Panthers at the Bobcat 30-yard line. Owenby snap. Now passing out to the flat. Pass is complete to number three. Mar Marcus Weaver, and Marcus Weaver goes 30 yards to start the night. First pass play for Powell, and it's a touchdown. Pass complete from Hagen Owenby out to number three, Marcus Weaver, and Weaver goes 30 yards for the Powell Panther touchdown. It'll be six to nothing, Powell Panthers, and on to attempt the point after is number 37, Austin Rogers. Rogers' kick is up, and Rogers' kick is good. That makes it seven to nothing, Panthers over your Central High School Bobcats. 7.48 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee, where the Powell Panthers just scored their first touchdown of the night. It's 7.48 to go in the first quarter. Powell Panthers are leading 7 to nothing over the Bobcats. A big pass play from Hagen Owenby out to Marcus Weaver, and Weaver went 30 yards for the, Bob, or for the Powell Panther touchdown. Now to kick off for the Panthers is Rodgers. High kick to the 30-yard line, taken by number 12, for the Bobcats and he's hit immediately. Cedric Washington on the kickoff reception and he's actually knocked back to the 27 yard line. Bobcats not in a good position. You need to answer here. Again, two weeks ago, Powell jumped out and ended up going on to win 20 to nothing on senior night two weeks ago. Bobcats looking to answer now after that score by the Powell Panthers. Johnson at quarterback, takes a snap, handoff to number 10, Jeremiah Howard, and he's hit in the backfield, taken down for a loss. This Powell Panther defense is very stingy and just showed it right there with Jeremiah Howard being taken down for a loss. It'll be second down and 15 from the 20 eight-yard line. Bobcats, again, overachieving this year, went six and four and made the playoffs for the first time since 2006. 
taking on the Powell Panthers at 9-1. Johnson takes a snap, looking to throw, throws outside, pass intended for number seven, Rex Howard, sails out of bounds. He was open. The pass just sailed just past his, past his fingertips, out of bounds, intended for number seven again, Rex Howard. It'll be third down and 15 from the 23-yard line. Bobcats coming to the line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Howard to his right. Snap. Johnson scrambling. Pressure coming. Now getting to the outside. And Johnson pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. It'll be fourth down and nine. A pickup of about six on the play. But again, it'll be fourth down and nine for the Bobcats from the 28-yard line. Punt formation is on for the Bobcats. Corey Plant on to, to punt and number 32 for the Panthers. Jonathan Stork to receive for the Panthers. Good punt by Plant, running up to take the reception at the 43-yard line. 43-yard line, fair catch called for, and it'll be first down and 10 for the Powell Panthers at the 43-yard line. Not how you wanted to, to answer there if you're the Central High School Bobcats. Powell drove the field, a big run play by the quarterback Hagen Owenby and then a big pass play for the touchdown, 30-yard touchdown pass play. Not a good response there for the Bobcat offense. Three and out. First down, snap to Owenby. Owenby trying to get to the outside and gets about two on the play before he's brought down by number 37, Josh Campbell, and number four, Daquavius Banks. It'll be second down and a long six, maybe seven yards from the 45-yard line. The Panthers getting the call from the Powell sideline and the coaching staff. Now come to the line are the Powell Panthers. Quarterback Owenby in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Man in motion. Handoff to number three, Marcus Weaver. Marcus Weaver to the outside, breaking the tackle. And running the end around is Marcus Weaver. Gets all the way out to the Bobcat 43-yard line. It'll be a first down for the Panthers at the 42-yard at the line is where they're going to spot the ball. First down and 10 for the Panthers from the Bobcat 42-yard line. Again, getting the call from the sideline are the Powell Panthers. Now coming up to the line, Owen be in the shotgun formation. Takes a snap. Handoff to number six, Tashawn Garden. And he's met at the line of scrimmage and now brought down for a loss of one on the play. It'll be second down and 11. A good tackle there by the Bobcat defensive line. Second and 11 for the Panthers at the 43-yard line. Coming to the line are the Panthers. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Running backs to his right and left. Owen B takes the snap. Handoff, number 10, Ontario Washington. Washington getting to the outside and brought down by number 12, C.J. Holloway. Excuse me, Cedric Washington on the, tech, on the tackle. A pickup of about five on the play. It'll be third down and six for the Panthers. Getting the call from the, the Panther sideline. Ball is at the 39-yard line. Owen be in the shotgun formation, flanked by Washington. And a hard count by Owen B. And the Bobcat off defensive line jumps off sides. And now will be... Third down and short, instead of a third and seven, it'll be a third and two. A penalty again against the Bobcats. 
jumping offsides. It's going to be third down and two for the Panthers. Now the ball is at the 34-yard line. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Flanked by Washington. Owen B on the snap, getting to the outside. Brought down by number five, Nate Caldwell, and number 12, Cedric Washington. But it's good enough for a Powell first down. Owen B on the run to the outside, brought down at the 28-yard line. It's good enough for a first down. The ball will be, sp be spotted first down and 10 at the 28 of the Bobcats. Coming to the line is the Powell Panthers. Owenby in the shotgun formation, handoff. Garden, Garden breaking to the outside, now cuts back. A pickup of about 15 yards on the play. Ball will be spotted at the 16-yard line. A good run there by Toshon Garden for the Panthers. And it'll be first down and 10 for Powell. Powell is leading seven to nothing in the game. Three thirty-six to go in the first quarter. Driving again. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Three wide receiver set. Handoff. Fakes the handoff, and now Owen B is going to run it. Owen B getting to the outside and broke. Broke out of bounds or pushed out of bounds. And a penalty marker comes in late. It looks like it's going to be. Unnecessary roughness. Personal foul against the Bobcats. That's going to move the ball up even further. See how referee Rod Goodman. And it is a personal foul against the Bobcats. The ball will be spotted now at the two and a half yard line. First down. Now first and goal for the Powell Panthers at the two and a half yard line. Panthers coming to the line of scrimmage. I formation, Owen B under center. Takes a snap, handoff. Number 10, Monterio Washington. And Washington is stopped short of the goal line. Brought down by number six, 66, Jonathan Holcomb there, and a good stop there by the Bobcats. Brought down at the two-yard line, so only a pickup of about a half a yard for the Bobcats. Powell now second down and goal. Owen B again under center, eye formation. Owen B. Handoff, Washington, and Washington's brought down in the backfield. A big hit there by number 64, Charlie Pratt. A big hit in the backfield by number 64, Charlie Pratt. And that's a loss of about one on the play. It's going to be now third down from the – well, no, they're going to give him forward, forward progress to the two. So no gain on the play. Third down and goal from the two-yard line are the Powell Panthers. And – Eye formation, Owen B under center. Now Owen B's going to rush forward, take the quarterback's keep, and it is good enough for a touchdown for the Powell Panthers. 1.59 to go in the first quarter. Powell goes up 13 to nothing over the Central High School Bobcats. Quarterback keep, Hagen Owen B. Touchdown for the Powell Panthers. On to attempt the point after is number 37, Rogers. Bad snap, and the kick is up and falls short. A bad snap. The Panthers there, a, a mistake. And it's a missed extra point, so it's now 13 to nothing. 159 to go in the first quarter. Powell is leading the Bobcats 13 to nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You are listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee, where the Powell Panthers are leading 13 to nothing in the first quarter. 159 to go in the first quarter. Austin Rogers now just kicking off for the Powell Panthers. Brought down by number 24, Gavin Adams. And Gavin Adams is knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. And Gavin Adams slow to get up, but now he's now he's coming back across the field. Moving pretty slow is Gavin Adams. But as the Bobcat offense makes their way back out onto the field, the ball will be spotted at the 35-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats. And if you're Coach Joe Hassel, you're wanting to get something here, something moving offensively for the Bobcats. Two three and outs to start the game. You want to try and get something going here. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Handoff. Jeremiah Howard. Howard. Gets into the second level, the now brought down by the safety. A good run of about 10 yards. A good run there by Jeremiah Howard. And again, he's just a freshman. And that is a 10-yard pickup. It's good enough for a Bobcat first down. The first first down of the night for the Bobcats comes with 143 to go in the first quarter. Ball at the 45-yard line. Again, Xavier Johnson in the pistol formation. Handoff Howard. Howard, again, a good run off tackle. Getting to the outside is Jeremiah Howard, and he goes for about eight yards on the play. So a good run there. And now the Bobcat offense is starting to move the ball a little bit on the ground. A pickup of about eight. It'll be second down and two from the Powell 47-yard line. Bobcats come to the line. Johnson in the pistol formation. Handoff again to Jeremiah Howard. Howard rushes forward and it looks like he's going to get the first down. It was a pickup of about two yards. And see where they spot the ball. It's either going to be third and very short or it's going to be a first down. It's third down and about a half a yard is where they're going to spot the ball for the Bobcats. So the Bobcats moving the ball again. 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Powell Panthers leading 13 to nothing. It's third down and short. Johnson in the pistol formation. Takes the snap, handoff to Jeremiah Howard. Howard breaking to the outside and getting the first down before brought down. He's going to pick up about two yards on the play. So it'll be first down Bobcats at the 44-yard line of the Powell Panthers. So after starting with two three and outs for the Central Bobcat Offense, the Bobcats offense now is moving the ball on the ground. Two first downs. And the ball in Panther territory at the 44-yard line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. And that's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The score, 13 to nothing. 13 to nothing, the Powell Panthers are leading the Central High School Bobcats into the first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You are listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee. To start of the second quarter, the Bobcats are trying to get something going on offense. 
And on first down, handoff from Johnson to Ben Buell. Buell gets about, well, gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and 10 for the Bobcats. Ben Buell, first carry of the night for the fullback. And now it's second down and 10 from the, from the Panther 44-yard line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Handoff, Howard, Howard. Pressured in the backfield, and now it's going to be swarmed under after a loss of about six on the play. Jeremiah Howard didn't have a chance on that one. The Powell defense was in the backfield before he even got the handoff. And he's brought down for a loss of about six on the play. It'll be third down and 16 for the Bobcats from the now back in their own territory at the 49-yard line. A great play by the Panther defense. The Bobcats were moving the football, trailing right now. 10:48 to go in the second quarter, 13 to nothing. Bobcats now coming to the line. Johnson, shotgun formation, and penalty markers fly. It's going to be a false start against the Panther, or excuse me, the Bobcats. So that's going to push them back even further on this third down. It's going to make it about third down and 21 for the. Bobcats. So you're moving the football if you're Central High School, and you've got to be frustrated if you're the Central High School coaching staff now. Moving the football, two first downs, running the ball. You get caught with a second down and 10. You get caught in the backfield for a loss of six, and then a penalty. It's going to be third down and 21 for the Bobcats all the way back at their own. 43-yard line. Johnson takes a snap, looking to pass. Pressure coming. Scrambles, rolling to his right. Now brought down at the 44-yard line. A pickup of about one yard line. There is a penalty marker on the field. I believe that's going to be a holding against the Bobcats. The Panther coaching staff is motioning to decline the penalty. Either way, it's going to be fourth down and a mile for the Bobcats. That penalty is declined. It is fourth down and 20. And the punt formation is on for the Central High School Bobcats. Corey Plant, number 48, on to punt. His third punt already of the evening, 9.57 to go in the second quarter. Deep for the Panthers is number 32, Jonathan Strokes. Plant's kick, a good kick, spiraling, brought down at the 28-yard line by Strokes, and he's tackled after a pickup of about four yards. Brought down by number 28, Dominic Wilson. It'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers at the 34-yard line. So the Bobcat offense starting to move the football, running, running the ball with freshman Jeremiah Howard. A tackle for loss and a penalty, and you're giving the ball back to the Panthers. First down and 10 at the 34. Owenby in the shotgun formation. Owenby, handoff to Montario Washington. Washington dives ahead for a pickup of about three on the play. It's going to be 30. Excuse me, number 15, Ben Buell on the tackle. And it's going to be second down and about seven, a long seven from the 36-yard line. Panthers coming to the line of scrimmage. Owen be in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Three wide out set. Owen B takes a snap, and it's going to run it off tackle. Owen B is brought down a great... Tackle by number 15, Ben Buell. A pickup of only about three on the play. It's going to be third down and five for the Panthers. A great tackle. That was the same play that picked up about 30 yards during the first quarter. And Ben Buell made, got there and made the tackle on Owenby. It's going to be third down and five for the Panthers. Panthers come to the line of scrimmage. Owenby in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Four wide out set for the Panthers. 
Now getting an audible from the Panther sideline is Owenby. Owenby takes a snap, running straight ahead, is going to pick up. And now a penalty marker comes in late. He's going to pick up the first down. He gets about, he needed five. He got about six on the play. And a penalty marker down. Face mask against the Bobcats. That's going to add. Five more yards to the run. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Panthers. Ball is at midfield. Panther offense getting the call from the sideline. Now coming to the line of scrimmage. Owen B is your quarterback in the shotgun formation. Monterio Washington to his right. Four wide out set. Trips to the far sideline. Handoff. Washington running to the far sideline. Now cutting upfield. Washington at the 35. Brought down at the 30-yard line. There's Monterio Washington. A pickup of about 20 yards on the play. It's a first down. Panthers finally brought down by number seven Rex Howard is Monterio Washington. But not after picking up. They're going to actually bring it back to the 32-yard line. So a pickup of 18 yards on the play is Monterio Washington, the running back for the Powell Panthers. Powell leading in this one, 13 to nothing, 7.34 to go in the half. Driving the ball, first down and 10 from the 32-yard line. Owen being the shotgun formation, takes a snap. Looking to throw, pressured, now throwing downfield, and the pass is incomplete. OMB was getting some pressure, but everyone was covered up. The ball was intended for number 81, Darrell Middleton. Darrell Middleton is a freshman for Powell, but he is going to be a really outstanding football player for Powell. He's about six foot five inches tall and already 220 pounds. He is a big boy. He's going to be a big player for Powell. It'll be second down and 10 from the 32 yard line. Powell now coming to the line of scrimmage. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Three wide out set. Washington to his left. Snap. Hand off Washington. Washington coming near sideline. Now cutting up field and he's brought down by his own man. Run into a blocker. Excuse me. Garden on the carry. Knocked down by his own blocker there. But after a pickup of about seven on the play, it'll be third down and short. Third down and a long two for the Panthers. Washington now coming back into the game. And the Panthers coming to the line of scrimmage. Third down and two from the 24-yard line. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Handoff. Or excuse me, snap. Owen B. Owen B rushes ahead, but is tackled there by Ben Buell. And he did make the first down. He was a pickup of about four on the play. Ball is spotted at the 21-yard line. It's first down and 10 for the Panthers. Panthers driving again, leading in this one 13 to nothing over the Bobcats, 6.30 to go in the half. Panthers getting the call from the Powell sideline. And now, snap, handoff, or excuse me, fake handoff, and he's running up the sideline. Now brought down at the two yard line, excuse me, the, they're going to mark him down at the one yard line is Hagen Owenby. A run of 20 yards for the quarterback. I thought he handed it off to Washington. He faked me out, and he faked the central defense out as well. Went for 20 yards, brought down finally at the one-yard line. It's going to be first down and goal for the Powell Panthers from the one. Leading in this one already 13 to nothing, 5.56 to go in the first half. Hagen Owen be quarterback for the Panthers under center. And now rushing ahead, quarterback keep. He is going to 
fall into the end zone for a pal touchdown. It is now 19 to nothing. Powell leading in this one with 5.33 to go in the half, 19 to nothing over the Bobcats. First round of the state playoffs, Class 5A state playoffs, Powell Panthers at 9-1, and one, the, the number one seed in the bracket, taking on the 6-4 and four Bobcats. And the Panthers leading in this one, 19 to nothing. Two weeks ago, the Panthers and the Bobcats met here at Scarborough Stadium, and the Panthers won that one on senior night, 20 to nothing. And this one with 5.33 again to go in the half, they're up 19 to nothing here as well. On to attempt the point after the the – Coaching staff for the Bobcats is handling or, or giving the referees a, an earful. I'm not sure exactly what they were what they were were talking about. They, they gave charged the Bobcats with a timeout there. Now on to attempt the point after is Rogers. Rogers kick is up and through the uprights. It is good. The Panthers now lead, 5.33 to go in the half, 20 to nothing over the Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee. The Panthers are leading 20 to nothing, 5.33 to go in the second quarter. Rodgers is set to kick off. Deep for the Bobcats is number 21, Marquise Campbell. A low short kick goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Rodgers' kick goes out of bounds. The ball will now be spotted Well now they're discussing they went out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. So they're discussing where they're going to be placing the ball and they're going to re-kick. So after the penalty, the Panthers are going to re-kick. Ball went out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. I'm not sure if they declined the penalty, the Bobcat coaching staff, or if they, the referees uh, decided that they needed to re-kick as well. They moved the ball back five yards is what I'm hearing now from the Bobcat coaching staff to my right. So Rodgers will re-kick now from the 35-yard line. Marquise Campbell deep for the Bobcats. Rodgers, kick, high, pooch kick. Taken by number 24, Gavin Adams, and Gavin Adams breaking a tackle, now cutting up field. Gavin Adams brought down at the 46-yard line. And some frustrating frustrations coming from the Bobcats already, a, a little extracurricular activities there. No penalty marker coming in, but... Some words from a Bobcat player for a couple of Powell defenders as well. Ball will be placed at the 
36-yard line. First down and 10 for the Bobcat offense. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. Johnson's going to keep diving ahead for a pickup of about three on the play. It's going to be second down and about seven from the 38-and-a-half-yard line. Brought down by number 49, Devin Scott for the Panthers was Johnson, but not after picking up about three on the play. Trying to get something going. You're trailing here 20 to nothing, 453 to go in the second quarter are the Bobcats. Three wide out set. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left. There's a snap to Johnson. Johnson passes out and complete. Brought down immediately. Pass was complete to number four, Doquavius Banks, for the Bobcats. Brought down by number, th brought down by number 32, Jonathan Strozik. And it'll be third down and about four from the 44 yard, the 42 yard line. Third down and four from the 42 yard line. Bobcats coming to the line of scrimmage now. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Four wide out set. Washington to his right. Johnson takes a snap, looking to throw. Pressure coming, rolling out to his right. And now it's going to be brought down out of bounds for a loss of about four on the play is Johnson. On third down and five on the play, third down and five, you lose three yards. It's going to be fourth down, and the punt formation coming on for the Bobcats. Twenty to nothing is your score. Powell is leading in this one. Three fifty-two to go in the half. Corey Plant on to punt for the Bobcats. Deep for the Panthers is Jonathan Strozik. Plant's kick, a good kick, fielded by Strozik. Strozik now cutting back across the field, and Strozik's going to be brought down finally. At the 48-yard line, a pickup or a return, excuse me, of about 18 yards on the return, Strozik. It'll be first down and 10 at the 44-yard line for the Panthers. Panthers are leading in this one 20 to nothing, 339 to go in the half. Bobcats. Have not had real success tonight on offense. And defensively, they haven't been able to stop the Panthers. Owen being the shotgun formation. Handoff to Monterio Washington. Washington scoots ahead. And falling forward, he gets about four yards on the play. It'll be spotted at the 47-yard line. It'll be second down and six for the Panthers. Brought down by number 12, C.J. Holloway or excuse me, Cedric Washington. Panthers now coming to the line of scrimmage, getting the call from the Panther sideline. Hagen Owenby in the shotgun formation. Monterio Washington to his right. Looking to pass is Owenby, and the pass off the hands of the receiver, number 85, Jonathan Merritt. Pass falls incomplete. If he had held on to it, that would have been a big play for the Panthers. But it falls incomplete. It's going to be third down and six for the Panthers from the 47-yard line. Bobcats hoping to get a stop here on third down and long. <laughs> Wanting to get a stop. Haven't been able to, to get a stop this evening. Working with the... 3-4 defense, rushing head, Hohenby, pass play, pass is caught all the way down at the 25-yard line, pass is, compl or is complete to, Ter to Marius Hunt at the 25-yard line. So on third down and seven from the 47-yard line, a big pickup of 23 yards. 
be first down and 10 from the 26-yard line, the Powell Panthers getting the call from the Panther sideline. Now coming to the line of the scrimmage, Hagen OMB. Very dangerous, both running the ball and now passing the ball. Powell Panthers handoff to number six, Toshon Garden. And Garden is going to pick up about two on the play. Ball will be spotted at the 24-yard line. Brought down by number 53, Aaron Lopez, by the Bobcats. It'll be second down and eight from the 24-yard line. Panthers come to the line of scrimmage. Hagen Owenby in the shotgun formation. Running back to his left. Handoff, excuse me, faking the handoff and now swarmed under in the backfield is Owenby brought down by number 64, Charlie Pratt. Charlie Pratt got into the backfield and made the tackle. Owenby faked the handoff and decided to keep it and he was brought down immediately by number 64, Charlie Pratt. It'll be third down and 12 for the Panthers from the 26-yard line. Panthers leading in this one, 104 to go in the half, 20 to nothing over the Bobcats. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Looking to pass. Pass is just past the fingertips of number 10, Ontario Washington. Nate Caldwell on the coverage there of Ontario Washington in the, in the pass sales, just past the fingertips of Ontario Washington. It'll be fourth down and 12 from the 26-yard line, and it looks like Powell is going to be going for it. On fourth down and 12 from the 26-yard line, 50 seconds to go in the half. Powell is leading 20 to nothing over the Bobcats. And getting the call from the sideline is the Panthers. Panthers now. Owen B. Shotgun formation. Handoff. It's going to be a halfback pass back to Owen B. And he drops the pass. So it was a good play call, but a great defensive effort by the Bobcats. And the pass falls incomplete. So it's a turnover on downs, a big defensive stop for the Bobcats there coming up on the end of the half, 43 seconds to go in the second quarter. Trailing 20 to nothing, hoping that you can at least in this 43 seconds get into field goal range to give Corey Plant an attempt to get on the board before the end of the half. Xavier Johnson in the shotgun formation. Looking to pass. Now it's going to keep tuck it and, well, now he's going to throw it. Pass is dropped by number four, Darquavius Banks. Johnson took the seven-step drop, was getting pressured, looked to tuck it and run, but before he got back to the line of scrimmage, decided to try and throw it out to Darquavius Banks, and Banks was open, dropped the ball, hit him in the numbers. And Aquavius Banks couldn't hang on to it. So it's second down, 33 seconds to go in the half, 20 to nothing, second down and 10 from the 26-yard line. Johnson in the shotgun formation, four wide out set. Johnson takes a snap, low snap. Now looking, pressure coming. Johnson's going to take the ball, and he's going to run and slide down at the 33-yard line. Now they're going to spot the ball at the 31. It'll be third down and six for the Bobcats. A pickup of four on the play was Johnson. Ten seconds to go. Clock is running in the half. Five. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. They're not going to get another playoff before the end of the half. Powell leading at halftime 20 to nothing over your Central High School Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy halftime. Again, I apologize for the inconvenience. We've had some technical difficulties and are unable to broadcast this evening 
the video portion of our broadcast. I hope you are enjoying the play calling. And we'll be back after the half. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Halftime Show here at Scarborough Stadium in Powell, Tennessee. Powell Panthers are leading 20 to nothing at halftime over your Central High School Bobcats. Please enjoy the halftime performances by the Central High School Band and the Powell High School Band. We'll be back at the start of the third quarter. Again, you're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
again, ladies and gentlemen, it's halftime at Scarborough Stadium. The Powell Panthers are leading 20 to nothing at halftime. You've been listening to the Central High School Bobcat Marching Band perform their halftime performance. We'll be back at the start of the third quarter. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it is halftime here at Scarborough Stadium. The Powell Panthers are leading your Central High School Bobcats 20 to nothing at halftime. You're listening to Bobcat Broadcasting and Central High School Football. We'll be back at the start of the third quarter.
Ladies and gentlemen, again, it's halftime here at Scarborough Stadium in Powell, Tennessee, where the Powell High School Panthers are leading your Central High School Bobcats 20 to nothing. In the first half, the Panthers were running the ball, throwing the ball. They were doing some great things off offensively and defensively. They were able to hold the Bobcats to two first downs and several three and outs. The teams are going to be taking the field here in just a moment, and we'll be back at the start of the third quarter. You are listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here at Powell, Tennessee. You're listening to Bobcat Broadcasting and Central High School Football. I'm Steve Playle. And it is going to be the start of the third quarter here in just a moment. The Panthers deferred at the start of the game. They will receive here to start the third quarter. Panthers are leading 20 to nothing over the Bobcats. And in, the Panthers have been doing everything right so far in this game. Two weeks ago, the Panthers and the Bobcats met here at Scarborough Stadium, Hayworth Field, for senior night here at Powell High School, and the Powell Panthers won that one 20 to nothing. Now here at halftime, the Panthers are leading again 20 to nothing. It's the first round of the Class 5A state playoffs. The eight-seeded Central High School Bobcats are 6-4 and four on the season and have had a very good season considering they were only projected to win about three games this year. Joe Hassel and the Central Bobcat coaching staff have done a wonderful job and have uh, got this Bobcat team that has not been to the playoffs since 2006, back in the playoffs for the first time. Now to start the third quarter, the Bobcats, number 48, Corey Plant on to kick. Deep to receive for the Panthers is number six, Tashawn Garden. And the kick is going to sail to Tashawn Garden at the six. Garden now brought down at the 11-yard line. A return of about five yards. It'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers at the 12. They're going to put the ball at the 12-yard line. And that's where the Panthers will take over. The Panthers are 9-1 and one on the season. The only loss coming to Oak Ridge back in the early part of the season. They went 14-1 last year, got beat in the state finals. And now they're leading in this one, hoping to make another run in the playoffs. 11.55 to go in the third quarter. Just the start of the third quarter, and the Panthers are leading 20 to nothing. Hagen OMB is the quarterback for the Panthers in the shotgun formation. OMB takes the snap, and now it's going to be running off tackle to the right. Big hole. Now charging ahead. He's going to pick up about 15 yards on the carry. A big run to start the third quarter in the second half is Hagen OMB. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers at the 30, excuse me, the 29 yard line. So a big run there for the quarterback, Hagen Owenby. Another big night. He had a big night two weeks ago here against the, Pan the Bobcats. And he's having another big night tonight. Has rushed for a touchdown and has thrown for a touchdown already in the first half. Owenby again in the shotgun formation. Handoff to Weaver. The wide receiver in the round run. Now upended by number 24, Gavin Adams at the 38-yard line. So it'll be second down now and short. A pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and short for the Panthers. One yard, second down and one for the Powell Panthers. Getting the call from the Panther sideline. Now come to the line of scrimmage. OMB again in the shotgun formation. Monterio Washington to his left. Handoff Washington. Washington running ahead, and he's going to pick up the first down, but he only gets about three on the play. So it'll be now first down and 10 from the 42-yard line, and the Panthers are moving again. It looks like the same story so far here to start the third quarter is what we saw in the first half. Again, I apologize tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here with Bobcat Broadcasting. But due to some circumstances beyond our control, we've been unable to broadcast the video of tonight's game. We're only able to provide you with the audio of the play-by-play. -play. Hagen OMB takes a snap in the shotgun formation, handoff to number six, Tosh on Garden. Garden rushes ahead for about five yards. It's going to be second down now and five for the Panthers at the 46-yard line. Panthers coming to the 
Line of scrimmage now at the 46, second down and five. Hagen Owenby in the shotgun formation for the Panthers. Timeout now called for by the Powell Panthers. Something something was uh, was going on the Panthers didn't like to see. And timeout, their first timeout of the game, the first timeout of the second half. At 9.58 to go in the third quarter, the Panthers are leading 20 to nothing over your Central High School Bobcats. Some other scores of interest this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, the start of the Tennessee State playoffs. Here in the Knoxville area, Jefferson County is trailing Sevier County 7 to 14. 14. Science Hill is at Oak Ridge and is trailing 21 to 14. Loudon is trailing CAK 42 to 21. South Doyle, which uh, South Doyle and Knoxville West, which will play that winner of that game, will play the winner of this game tonight between Powell and the Bobcats. West is leading that one 20 to no, 21 to nothing. And Maryville is over Hardin Valley 42 to 3. After the timeout now, Owenby in the shotgun formation. Handoff to number 10, Monterio Washington. Washington carries, gets all the way out to the 47-yard line. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Powell Panthers. All the way down, excuse me, the 42-yard line of the Bobcats. So first down and 10, Montario Washington carrying to the near sideline, broke a tackle and got all the way out to the 42-yard line of the Bobcats. Owen B again in the shotgun formation. Four wide receiver set trips to the far sideline. Handoff, Washington. Washington, big hole. Breaking to the outside now and tri tripped up there. He had about one man to beat, and that was Doquavius Banks. And Doquavius Banks tripped him up. But after a pickup of 10 yards, it's going to be a first down and 10 for the Panthers. A big hole off the right side of the Powell offensive line. He was able to go for 10 yards on the play. The ball is spotted at the 40, excuse me, the 32-yard line. On the Bobcats, the Panthers are moving the ball 9-10 to go in the third quarter. Panthers are leading your Central High School Bobcats 20 to nothing. Hagen Owenby in the shotgun formation. Owenby, handoff, Washington, same play, just the different side of the field. Excuse me, Tashawn Garden on the play. They carry, same play to the left side of the field this time, and he's going to pick up about... Going to pick up about five on the play. Brought down by number 64, Charlie Pratt, for the Bobcats. He's had a good night so far. A couple of tackles for loss in the first half. And now a, a tackle here to, to stop uh, Tyshawn Garden. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Panthers leading 20 to nothing. Garden's going to, or excuse me, Hagen Owen B is going to run off tackle, and he's going to run all the way. 32 yards for a Panther touchdown. Panthers now lead 26 to nothing over your Central High School Bobcats. A big hole on the right side of the formation there for the Bobcats on defense. And that's a, another touchdown there for Hagen Owenby. A huge night for Owenby. He's now rushed for two touchdowns. He's thrown for another touchdown. And on to attempt the point after is Austin Rogers, number 37. Rogers' kick is up, and it is good. So 27 to nothing is your score. 8.07 to go in the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee. The Powell Panthers leading your Central High School Bobcats 27 to nothing. 8.07 to go in the third quarter. It has been all Panthers tonight. Panthers just scored on a Hagen OMB 32 yard run. And now getting set to kick off is Austin Rogers for the Panthers deep for the Bobcats. Number 21, Marquise Campbell. It's the first round of the state playoffs tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but tomorrow college is in action. And the SEC is in action all across the south. Tomorrow Alabama is taking on LSU. A big game tomorrow night for the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. Troy makes the trip here to Tennessee tomorrow. Texas A&M in their first year here in the conference heads to Mississippi State. Ole Miss is at Georgia, Missouri at Florida and Vanderbilt at Kentucky. The kickoff from Austin Rogers, uh, fielded by uh, Austin Wimley, excuse me, Brandon Wimley, number three for the Bobcats. Bobcats will take over first and 10 at the 39 yard line. 38 yard line, correction. They're gonna spot the ball at the 38 yard line. First and 10 for the Bobcats. Bobcats first series tonight on uh, on offense here in the second half. Johnson in the shotgun formation, handoff to Jeremiah Howard. Howard rushing straight ahead, gets about four on the play before he's swarmed under and pushed back by the Powell Panther defense. Pickup of about four on the play. It's going to be second down and six for the Bobcats. A good run there to start the third quarter on offense there for the Bobcats. Again, Johnson, shotgun formation. Handoff, Howard, and he's met in the backfield. A big, big hit there on Jeremiah Howard in the backfield. A big hit by the Powell defense. Drop for a loss of about three on the play. It's going to be third down and nine. So Jeremiah Howard, the freshman for the Bobcats, a, a great running back, had four touchdowns last week against Halls, rushed for 188 yards, replaced the injured Juwan Stinson, the 1,000-yard rusher for the Bobcats, and went down two weeks ago here at Powell, had surgery on his foot. We'll be back, we'll be back next, next year for the Bobcats. And that's very encouraging for Central to have two great running backs coming back next year. Timeout called for by Coach Hassel and the Bobcats to talk about uh, what they're going to do here on this third down and nine. A couple other scores of interest from around the region. Up in the Tri-Cities area, Tennessee High is leading Daniel Boone 21-7. to Bearden traveled to Dobbins Bennett, and Dobbins Bennett looking to get their that, that big signature win in the playoffs. Uh, haven't had a, a real big signature win in the last decade at Dobbins Bennett. They're leading Bearden 21 to nothing at halftime. Johnson County traveled to Elizabethan, and Elizabethan is running away with that one 42 to nothing. And Sullivan North is leading Unicoi County 20 to nothing as well. After the timeout here in Powell at Scarborough Stadium, it's third down and nine. Johnson in the shotgun formation for the Bobcats. Rolling out to his right. Now looking to throw. Now he's going to run. Run and knocked out of bounds. He's going to pick up about eight. I think he's going to be short, but a good run there for Johnson. But I think he's going to be about a yard short. Third down and nine. And he's going to be close, depending on where he gets the spot. Knocked out of bounds was Johnson. He was looking to throw and scrambled. Now the ball is going to be placed, and it looks. Well, now they're going to call the call the chain gain all the way across the field. Johnson on the uh, quarterback keep was pressured, ran, and it's going to be close. He's they're bringing the the chains all the way across the field to the near sideline to measure this one and see if it's going to be fourth down and short or if it's going to be a first down for the 
Bobcats. The referee crew tonight, all the way from Cookville, Tennessee, led by Rod Goodman. Uh, get the call here. I cannot see. They're about three inches short is what they're holding up from Rod Goodman. I couldn't see from the PAL sideline where the ball was going to be placed, but they're going to be about three inches short. It's going to be fourth down in inches, and it looks like the Bobcats are going to go for it. Trailing in this one, 27 to nothing, 6.41 to go in the third quarter. The ball is at the Bobcat 48-yard line. It's fourth down in inches. Looking to get a first down here, Johnson. And the Bobcats coming to the line of scrimmage here. 6.41 to go in the third quarter. The Panther defense asking for the stands to rise to their feet. And Johnson's going to rush forward, and I'm not sure. He was met immediately, and I'm not sure if he got it or not. He's going to... Now on a second effort, it's going to move ahead, and that's a good spot for the for the Bobcats. I believe on the spot he's going to get the first down. It is a Bobcat first down at the 49-yard line. Johnson on the quarterback keep was hit immediately. There was no push for the Bobcat offensive line against this Powell defensive line. But on the second effort, Quarterback Xavier Johnson lunges ahead and is going to get one yard. All he needed was about three inches. And it's going to be first down and ten for the Central High School Bobcats. Johnson now in the shotgun formation. Running backs to his right and left. Handoff. Jeremiah Howard. Howard breaking to the outside. And Howard gone. 30, 25, 20. He's at the 15, and he's dragged out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Jeremiah Howard, great run, off tackle to the left side of the formation. A big run for Jeremiah Howard, brought down by Monterio Washington for the Powell Panthers at the 10-yard line. A huge run of 39 yards for the Bobcats. It's the biggest run of the night for this central offense. Be first down and goal from the 10 yard line. The Bobcats trailing in this one. 27 to nothing. 5.50 to go in the third quarter. Hoping to get something going here and get on the board. Johnson, handoff to Howard. Howard breaking to the outside. Gets to the corner and turns up. Knocked out of bounds at the about the one yard line, if I can see all the way across the field. It's going to be second down and goal. From the two, second down and goal from the two-yard line is the Bobcats looking to punch this one in and get on the board, trailing 27 to nothing, 538 to go in the third quarter. Bobcats coming to the line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Howard behind him. Handoff Howard. Howard diving ahead and touchdown Bobcats. Touchdown Bobcats, Jeremiah Howard rushing ahead, makes it 27 to six, 532 to go in the third quarter. And the Bobcats get on the board with a run by Jeremiah Howard. A big run from of 39 yards. And then to cap it off on second down and goal from the two yard line is Howard rushing, diving into the end zone for the Bobcat touchdown. On to attempt the point after is Corey Plant. Here's the snap, the hold, and the kick is up. The kick is good. Makes it 27 to seven. Powell leading the Bobcats here at Scarborough Stadium. In the first round of the Class 5A playoff. 5:32 to go in the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Bobcat Broadcasting and Central High School Football. We'll be back in just a moment.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee, where the Panthers are leading 27 to 7. The Bobcats just scored their first touchdown of the night. 5:32 to go in the third quarter, and the Bobcats getting set to kick off. Corey Plon on to kick deep for the Panthers. Marcus Weaver takes the kickoff and gets to the 30-yard line before he swarmed under. And that's where the Panthers will take over the 30-yard line. First down and 10 for the Panthers. Big run for the freshman, Jeremiah Howard, set up the touchdown that he scored as well from two yards out, making the score 27-7, 5.24 to go in the third quarter. The Panthers first down and 10 from the 30-yard line. Hagen OMB is your quarterback for the Powell Panthers, and he takes the snap in the shotgun formation, looking to pass, and now pressured, almost brought down by Aaron Lopez. Lopez missed the tackle, and now Hagen OMB runs around the edge, gets all the way out to the Bobcat 44-yard line. Finally knocked out of bounds by number 12, Cedric Washington. A big, big gain and run for Hagen Owenby. He was pressured in the backfield, almost brought down by Aaron Lopez. Had a hand on him, and then he got loose and, got, and ran all the way out to the Bobcat 44-yard line, 43-yard line. We first down and 10 from the 43. Owen B again in the shotgun formation. Flag thrown. And it looks to be false start against the Powell Panthers. It'll be a five yard penalty. It'll be first down now and 15 for the Panthers at the 48 yard line. 4.51 to go in the third quarter. Panthers leading in this one, 27-7 over the Bobcats. You're listening to Central High School Football with Bobcat Broadcasting. I'm Steve Playle here at Scarborough Stadium in Powell, Tennessee. Panthers first down and 15 after the penalty. Owen be in the shotgun formation. Trips receivers to his right. Hand off Washington to that side, and Washington... Breaks a tackle, picks up all of the yardage lost and a lot more. Washington gets all the way out to the 35-yard line. It'll be second down now and short, second down and about two for the Panthers. A pickup of 13 on the play. They put those that wide receiver trip formation out there and they use those with wide receivers to block for the running back and it's worked all night for the Panthers and it worked again right there pickup of 13 yards second down and two Owen be in the shotgun formation snap coming passing looking to pass now gonna roll out pressure coming and it's gonna be swarmed under he's gonna take be taken out for a loss of about one on the play. Brought down by number 64, Charlie Pratt. Going to be third down and three now. Owen B was looking to pass. Got some pressure, was rolling out, and was brought down a loss of, uh, now they're going to say two on the play. It's going to be third down and four from the 31 and a half yard line. Panthers now getting the call from the PAL sidelines. Now coming in and coming to the line of scrimmage, the Powell Panthers. Hagen Owen be in the shotgun formation. Montario Washington to his right. Third down and four. Owen be running straight ahead, and he's going to be close. He was brought down. Owen be quarterback keep rushing ahead, brought down. It's going to be very close. And it is going to be a first down and 10 for the Panthers. A first down pickup for Hagen OMB. Ball will be placed at the 32-yard line. The Panthers getting the call from the 
Powell sideline, Powell coaching staff. Derek Rang, the head coach for the Powell Panthers in his first season here at Powell, has the Powell Panthers 9-1 here in the first round of the state playoffs. Snap to Owenby. Owenby hands off to Montario Washington. Washington carries all the way down to the 23-yard line. There is a penalty marker on the play. Washington was brought down by number 15, Ben Buell. Called his name a few times tonight. Called it again there. Let's see what we've got here from the Cookville officiating crew. A holding penalty goes against Powell. That's going to bring that run back. It's now going to be first down. It's a spot foul holding against the Powell Panthers. Brings it all the way back out to the 43-yard line. 43-yard line, so a uh, first down now that was first down and 10, and they picked up a big play from Ontario Washington. Now brings that all the way back to the – makes it first down and 21 for the Panthers. Ball at the 43-yard line. Owen B. in the shotgun formation. White, running backs to his right and left. Handoff to number six. Tyshawn Garden on the play. Tackle made by, again by number 15, Ben Buell. And that was a pickup of about six on the play. It's going to be second down and 16, 15. For the Panthers, the Panthers getting the call from the PAL sidelines. Now coming to the line of scrimmage, Owenby in the shotgun formation. Ontario Washington to his left. Four wide out set. Washington, excuse me, Owenby takes a snap. Screen, wide receiver screen pass. And now running across, back across the field is number 83, Andrew Cox. Owen B's pass complete the wide receiver screen to Andrew Cox. Andrew Cox ran all the way back across the field. He was on the far sideline, all the way back across the field for a big pickup there of about 10 yards. It's going to be third down and five for the Panthers at the 27-yard line. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Now getting an audible from the Powell sideline. Owen B. Takes a snap. Rushing ahead. And he's going to be dragged down. It's going to be close, ladies and gentlemen. I know you can't see it. I apologize for the technical errors and problems that we've had tonight not being able to show the video. Owen B. rushes ahead. It's going to be fourth down and inches. Fourth down and about a half a yard for the Panthers. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your score, 27 to 7. Powell is leading your Central High School Bobcats. End of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scarborough Stadium here at Powell High School. Powell Panthers, it's the start of the fourth quarter, and the Powell Panthers are leading your Central High School Bobcats 27-7. to And the Panthers are driving, and it's fourth down and one at the 24-yard line. 
Panthers had the ball. Start of the fourth quarter. Owen B is going to run the end around, and he's going to be slung down, but they're going to sling him forward is number 11, C.J. Holloway. Slings him forward, and I think he's going to pick up the first down. They're going to, they're going to look at it, but I believe it's going to be a – well, now they're going to ask for the chains to come across the field. C.J. Holloway had Hagen Owenby, the quarterback, stopped in the backfield, but, but in the tackle, slung him forward. And they may have enough now for the first down. They're going for it on fourth down and one. C.J. Holloway got there. Hagen Owenby, the quarterback, on the keep. And he's going to be short. The ball – Brought down, I thought that he was going to have it with being slung forward, but it was short, so they come up short on fourth down and one. It's going to be a turnover on down. Central is now going to take over at the 23-yard line. A huge stop and a big break for the Central Bobcats. Down 27-7, to 11.52 to go in the game. Bobcats going to take over on offense at the 23-yard line. Big defensive stop there for the Bobcats after the Pal Panthers had been able to move the ball. Now getting a defensive stop and a turnover on downs. Xavier Johnson, the quarterback for the Bobcats, takes the snap, handoff to Jeremiah Howard. Jeremiah Howard trying to get to the corner, now cuts up field, brought down after a pickup of about three on the play. It'll be second down and... See where they spot the ball, second down and about... Seven. Ball will be spotted at the 26-yard line. Again, you're watching Bobcat broadcasting, listening to Bobcat broadcasting here covering Central High School football in the first round of the state Class 5A playoffs. Again, we apologize due to some technical difficulties. We have been unable to show the video of this broadcast and of tonight's game. Eleven fifty eleven eleven to go in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven to seven is your score. Powell is leading. On second down and seven, the Bobcats had a false start. And now it's going to be second down and twelve for the Bobcats at the twenty-one yard line. Johnson is the quarterback for the Bobcats. He is in the shotgun formation. And another penalty marker comes in before the play can get started. Let's see what they call here. It's going to be offsides against the Powell Panthers. So one penalty against the Bobcats loses five yards. The next play, another penalty now against the Panthers. And the ball is going to be placed again at the original line of scrimmage. We second down and seven at the 27-yard line. Bobcats again coming to the line of scrimmage. Let's see if we can run a play here. 11, excuse me, 10.46 to go in the fourth quarter. Johnson hand to, or pass. Pass. Caught out of bounds. Looked to be. No, now they're going to say that he got, there's a penalty marker on the play. The ball was caught by the Powell defender. And let's see what they try and sort out here. Johnson took the snap, threw the ball up, intended for Marquis Campbell. The pass was intercepted, looked like, at the, at the Panther 47-yard line. The penalty marker comes in, and it looks to be a pass interference call against the Panthers. A big break there for the Uh, a pass interference call against the Panthers. A big break there for the Bobcats. And now they're going to bring the ball all the way out to the 41-yard line. And it's going to be first down and 10 for the Bobcats. A big break there. The ball was intercepted, but a pass interference call. And the Bobcats have a little bit of life. 10.35 to go in the game. 27-7 is your score. The Powell Panthers are leading. But the Bobcats on the move on offense. Xavier Johnson. 
in the shotgun formation. Handoff to number 11, C.J. Holloway. Holloway gets to the edge and is pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Pushed out of bounds by Jonathan Strozik, number 32 for the Panthers. It's going to be second down, a pickup of about four for C.J. Holloway. Second down and six for the Bobcats. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Handoff now and brought down a pickup of about maybe one on the play for number 10, Jeremiah Howard. Be third down. And six, clock is running, 9.30 to go in the game. Bobcats trailing in this one, 27 to seven. Third down and six to go from the 45 yard line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Johnson looking to throw, getting pressured, rolling to his right. Looking to throw again is Johnson. He runs out of bounds. Ten yards. A ten-yard loss. Johnson runs out of bounds. It'll be a fourth down now for the Bobcats. Fourth down and about 15. All the way back at the 36-yard line. Johnson was pressured by the Powell Panther defense. Looking to throw and ran out of bounds. All the way back at the 36. Pump formation on for the Bobcats. Jonathan Strozik deep for the Panthers. Corey Plant takes the snap. Oh, and the snap goes over his head. Snap goes all the way over his head. Now he gets all the way back to it, and he kicks. Ball hits a central defender, and now a net punt of about eight yards for Corey Plant there. A, a good play there by Plant. The ball went over his head, sailed over his head on the snap all the way down to about the five yard line. And Plant grabbed the, grabbed the ball and, and got it away. And the Panthers will take over first down and 10 at the 45 yard line. Hagen OMB again at quarterback for the Panthers. In the shotgun formation. Takes a snap. Hand off Montario Washington. Washington running to the right. Drag down at the 34 yard line. A pickup of about 12 on the play. It'll be a first down for the Powell Panthers. A big run. A big night for the Powell Panthers. Hagen OMB quarterback. Run for two touchdowns, has thrown for another touchdown. Montario Washington, the running back, also another big night for him. And the Panthers leading with 8.25 to go, 27 to seven over the Bobcats. Owen B takes the snap, handoff. Washington, Washington stiff arm, now getting pushed out of bounds. He's gonna lose about a yard on the play. Be second down and 11 for the Panthers. First round of the Class 5A state playoffs. The number one seeded Powell Panthers, 9 and 1, coming into tonight's game, leading the number eight seeded Central Bobcats at 6 and 4 on the season. 27 to 7, 809 to go in the game. The Bobcats, this is their first trip back to the playoffs since 2006. Owen B in the shotgun formation on second down and 11. Now throwing out to number three, Marcus Weaver. And Weaver is going to be dragged down all the way down at the 19-yard line. That's going to be a first down pickup for the Panthers. Brought down by number seven, Rex Howard. And number 24, Gavin Adams. 
Ball will be placed at the Central High School 19-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers. Moving again, leading 27 to 7, 7.48 to go in the game. The Panthers coming to the line of scrimmage, getting their call from the Powell sideline and the Powell coaching staff. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Washington to his left, handoff, no, fakes the handoff and looking and pass wide open in the corner of the end zone. OMB's pass complete to number 23, excuse me, number 25, Clay Leeper for a Powell touchdown. The Powell Panthers, a big play there. Fake the handoff was OMB, and OMB threw it 19 yards to the corner of the end zone. A wide open Clay Leeper made the catch. Now a Bad snap for the Panthers on the point after attempt. And the extra point attempt is no good. So the score now, 33 to seven. The Panthers leading your Central High School Bobcats. 7.24 to go in the game. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scarborough Stadium. Powell Panthers leading your Central High School Bobcats. 33 to seven, 724 to go in the game. First round of the Class 5A state playoffs. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties we're having this evening. We're unable to show the video of tonight's game. We just have the audio. Kickoff by the Panthers. Taken by number 24, Gavin Adams. Gavin Adams return all the way out to the 33-yard line. And that's where the Bobcats will take over. First down at the 34-yard line. Bobcats trailing in this one, 33-7, 7-16 to go in the game. Two weeks ago, the Bobcats came here to Scarborough Stadium and met the Panthers on senior night. We're defeated 20 to nothing tonight. 33 to seven is your score in the fourth quarter. 7:16 to go. Johnson in the shotgun formation, taking the snap, dragged down in the backfield. Pressure by brought down by number 49, Devin Scott. Pressured in the backfield was Johnson, and Johnson was sacked for a loss of 10 on the play. It's going to be second down and 18, excuse me, eight, loss of eight on the play. Second down and 18 from the 25-yard line. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Johnson takes a snap, looking to throw. Now being pressured. Pass gets out and is tipped by the Powell defender and knocked out of bounds. Johnson's pass again tipped and knocked out of bounds by the Powell defender. It'll be third down and 18 for the Bobcats. Score 33 to seven. Panthers leading 629 to go in the fourth quarter. First round uh, class 5A state playoffs here at Scarborough Stadium. The number one seeded Powell Panthers leading the number eight seeded Central Bobcats 33 to seven. 
Johnson takes a snap, looking to throw, pass sails out of bounds on third down and 18, pass sails, uh, sails out of bounds, intended for number seven, Rex Howard. It'll be fourth down and 18, and punt formation coming for the Bobcats. Fourth down, 18 for the Bobcats. Corey Plant on to kick. Jonathan Strozik deep for the Powell Panthers. Good kick and a fair catch call for by Jonathan Strozik at the 37 yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Powell Panthers. 6.13 to go in the game. Panthers leading 33 to seven over your Central High School Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, again, it's Friday night here in East Tennessee and there's a lot of high school football going on. It's the first round of the state playoffs. But tomorrow, college football in action. Some big games tomorrow night, Alabama taking on LSU, Alabama has been rolling right along this year under the direction of Coach Nick Saban and quarterback A.J. McCarron. The Alabama Crimson Tide taking on LSU tomorrow night. Here in Knoxville, the Troy, or Troy Trojans are, will be coming to Neyland Stadium taking on the Tennessee Volunteers with the defense of the Volunteers. That one could be a high-scoring game. The, the Trojans hung 24 on Mississippi State earlier in the year. Mississippi State only won by six in that game. But again, that's tomorrow around the SEC. Tonight, it's high school football and the Panthers now on offense. Monterio Washington has carried. It's going to be now brought down by number 15, Ben Buell. It's going to be about a yard to go for the first down on the Panthers. Ball will be placed at the 47-yard line. Well, the Panthers now getting the call from the Panther sideline. And some confusion. Some confusion. And now a timeout call for by the Panthers. Some confusion there for the Panther offense here with 5.15 to go in the game. 33 to seven is your score. And the Panthers take a timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Scarborough Stadium here in Powell, Tennessee. First round of the Class 5A state playoffs. Powell Panthers leading 5-15 to go in the game. 33-7 is your score. Panthers leading over the Bobcats. It was a timeout for the Panthers. Out of the timeout, Tyshawn Garden rushing ahead, picks up the first down to the Bobcat 49-yard line. And that's where the Panthers will have it. First down and 10 at the Bobcat 49-yard line. Clock is running, 5.05 to go in the game. Panthers leading 33-7 to over the Bobcats. Bobcats have had a off night tonight offensively. They've had one big play by Jeremiah Howard, the freshman running back, went for 39 yards and then went in on a second down and goal. Makes your score 33-7. to The Panthers have been rolling offensively and defensively. On first down and 10, Tyshawn Garden on the carry. 
brought down by number five, Nate Caldwell, and number 15, Ben Buell. Will be second down and 10 for the Panthers. 4.20 to go in the game. Their score, 33-7. to seven. Panthers are leading. Panthers come to the line of scrimmage. Owen B is the quarterback in the shotgun formation. Handoff to number 10, Ontario Washington. Washington trying to get to the outside and hit, and he's going to be dropped for a loss of one on the play. It's going to be third down and 11 for the Panthers. Brought down by C.J. Holloway for the Bobcats. And again, third down and 11 at the 49-yard line. 331 to go in the game. Panthers leading 33-7 to over the Bobcats. Panthers coming to the line of scrimmage. Owen B in the shotgun formation. Owen B takes a snap. Looking to pass. Passing downfield, and the pass sails over the head of number 83, Andrew Cox. Cox was open, but the pass sails over his head and incomplete. It'll be fourth down and 11 for the Panthers. And on to punt for the Panthers in punt formation. The quarterback is also the punter for the Panthers, and I believe that this is going to be the, the first punt of the night for the Panthers. First punt of the night comes at 3.05 to go in the game. Deep for the Bobcats, number 24, Gavin Adams. Owen B. Punts, and the punt sails down. And it's now going to roll down dead at about the 12-yard line. A good punt by the quarterback, number 11, Hagen Owenby. Ball will be spotted at the 12-yard line, and that's where the Bobcat offense will take over with 2.53 to go in the game, trailing 33-7. Bobcats haven't really been able to get much going offensively tonight. Haven't been able to, to stop the Panthers. This Powell Panther football team is a, is a good squad. They've got the chance to make a deep run into the playoffs. And they showed it tonight, their power. Hand off to Jeremiah Howard on first and ten. Jeremiah Howard rushes ahead, picked up about four on the play. Gets down to the 16-yard line. It'll be second down and six for the Bobcats. 2.38 to go in the game. Panthers leading the Bobcats 33-7 to in this one. Bobcats coming to the line. Johnson, quarterback in the shotgun formation. Johnson. Handoff, Jeremiah Howard. Howard spinning, twisting, brought down in the backfield. The Powell Panther defense got into the backfield. Tried to break a tackle was Jeremiah Howard, but he was dragged down. It's going to be third down, and that was a loss of five on the play, so it'll be third down and 11 for the Bobcats. 150 to go in the game, and Coach Hassel is going to take a timeout. 148 to go in the game. Panthers leading 33 to 7 over the Bobcats. Coach Hassel and the Central Bobcats takes a timeout. I think this will be a great time for us to take our last timeout of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 148 to go in the game. After the timeout, the Bobcats on third down and 11 come to the line of scrimmage. And before the play can get off, there is a penalty marker that flies. It's going to be a dead ball offsides against the Panthers. So that's going to make it third down and six for the Bobcats. 146 to go in the game. Panthers leading 33-7 to over the Bobcats. Bobcats coming back to the line of scrimmage. Johnson in the shotgun formation. Johnson looking to pass. Hit in the backfield. It now breaks a tackle and gets out. He was hit and looked to be just blasted in the backfield. Was looking to pass. Was hit hard by a pal defender. But he somehow got out of that. A, a good individual effort there by Xavier Johnson, the quarterback. But finally dragged down. It'll be a, still a loss of one on the play. It'll be fourth down and seven. And on to punt with 413, or excuse me, 113 to go in the game. Corey Plant on to kick. Deep for the Panthers. Jonathan Strozik. Plant's kick. Good, fair catch called for at midfield. That's where the Panthers will take over with 55 seconds to go in the game. 33 to seven is your score. Panthers leading 30, excuse me, 55 seconds to go in the game. Panthers, again, leading tonight 33-7. First-round Class 5A state playoffs here at Scarborough Stadium in Powell, Tennessee. 55 seconds to go. A new quarterback in for the Panthers and a new running back. Tyshawn Garden slips out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. Number four, Derek Parks in new quarterback in for the Panthers. Slips out of bounds, makes it 47 seconds to go in the game. Again, your score 33 to seven. Panthers now at the 35 yard line, Bobcat 35. Coming to the line of scrimmage. Parks takes the snap and is gonna be rushing ahead and tripped up. Falls down at the 25-yard line. 22 seconds to go in the game. Panthers leading this one 33-7. And it looks to be the end of the 2012 season for the Central Bobcats. A 6-4 and four season will be here in four seconds, 6-5 and five season. The Panthers now... Improving to 10 and 1 and winning the first round of the Class 5A state playoffs over the Central High School Bobcats. Your final score 33 to 7. Panthers winning this one over your Central High School Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment to recognize the senior football players for the Central High School Bobcats here on the final game of the season for the Bobcats. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Central High School Football on Bobcat Broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scarborough Stadium. The final score at the end of the night, Panthers winning this one 33-7 over your Central High School Bobcats. First round of the Class 5A state.
playoffs. The Panthers improved to 10 and 1 on the season. The Bobcats falling to 6 and 5 overall for the season but making their first trip to the state playoffs since 2006. A great season for the Central High School Bobcats and we'd like to take a moment now here at Bobcat Broadcasting to recognize this senior class for the Central High School Bobcats. Number 1, Mario Debro was a wide receiver and defensive back for the Bobcats. Have Mario currently in class, and he's a great young man. Number four, Darquavius Banks. He's a wide receiver and defensive back here for the Bobcats. Played all four years here at Central. Nate Caldwell, number five, a running back and linebacker. Had a great night and a great season. Nate Caldwell is starting linebacker for your Central High School Bobcats. Number nine, Brennan Nicholas was a wide receiver and defensive back for the Bobcats. Number 11, C.J. Holloway, a running back and defensive back, had a big night tonight as well and a big season. C.J. Holloway here for the Central High School Bobcats. Number 15, Ben Buell, a linebacker, started the season as a quarterback. Xavier Johnson came in and took that spot from him, but he – did uh, contribute considerably as a fullback for the Central offense. Ben Buell, senior for the Central Bobcats. Number 23, Trey Thomas, a wide receiver and defensive back for the Bobcats. I also have Trey in class uh, at Central. He's a great young man as well. Number 24, Gavin Adams, a wide receiver and defensive back. Gavin Adams has had a wonderful season, had a great season last year as well. He's had a wonderful season this year, and he will be missed by the Central football team. Number 27, Tim Jones, is a wide receiver and defensive back. He's a senior and will be graduating in May. Number 31, Adam Morse, wide receiver and defensive back for the Bobcats. Number 37, Josh Campbell, a wide receiver and defensive back for the Bobcats. He also, a starter, will be missed by the Central High School Bobcats. Number 47, Muhammad Youssef, the kicker and punter. Also a great soccer player is Muhammad Youssef. He is also a senior for the Central High School football team. Number 53, Aaron Lopez, played on the offensive line and defensive line. Aaron Lopez, an outstanding wrestler as well. I'm sure that we will see more of him this upcoming wrestling season, but he will be missed next year as a senior for the Central Bobcats. Number 64, Charlie Pratt, an offensive lineman, defensive lineman. Had a big season so far this year, and he will be missed greatly next year by the Central Bobcats. Number 67, Brandon Tur Turner, also an offensive lineman. He will be missed next year as well. And then finally, to round out your senior class for your Central High School Bobcats is number 78, Sean Oliver, an offensive lineman, defensive lineman. I have Sean currently in class, and uh, I know that he will do great things in life. And he will be missed by the Central High School football team. Ladies and gentlemen, your senior class for 2012, 2000, or 2013, the 2012 season for the Central High School Bobcats. Wish them all well, and congratulations on a great season. Ladies and gentlemen, again, your final this evening, Powell Panthers defeating your Central High School Bobcats 33-7. to Thank you for joining us this evening, and thank you for bearing through our technical difficulties with the video and not being unable to show the game tonight on the broadcast but thank you for listening with us and joining us this evening we will be back in just a couple weeks to start the central high school bobcat basketball season but for the central high school football team and for the central high school football season i'm steve playle thank you for joining us you've listened to central high school football on bobcat broadcasting good night